All right, guys, another day of adventures here in Puerto Rico. <laughs> I can't even speak today, but it's been a crazy day. It's been a crazy week, actually. But it's another day of adventures in Buenos Aires. Today, we're going to go get some information about our trip to Uruguay. We're going to Uruguay tomorrow, so I want to go ahead of time and find out information in person. I don't want to do it online, I want to do it, I want to do it in person. So. I'm out here at my place, this is the entrance of my building where I'm staying. I'll show you my apartment later, super cool, super fancy and, and like really modern. Uh, so we went for the Uber. Messed up part man, it's been raining for the last three days out here man, that's why I'm out. I'm going to Uruguay for a couple of days. And then I come back on the weekend and see if it's better. If it's not better, I don't know. I might go somewhere else or something. But um, let's see what's going to happen today. And um, let's go have some adventures in the rain. I actually wore this hat specifically because of that. Because at least the water was not, you know, get, it, get the hat all wet and messed up. So let's see what happens. I also need to get a barber. raining day again this is like another it, it's been actually raining a lot lately man my luck my luck is messed up let's see here's the uber oh i actually got a nice one they always bring come with the little cars this one is actually better but okay. hello Buenos dias. all right cool guys yeah i'll talk to you guys in a little bit Hola mi amor, como te va? Quisiera verte y tan lejos que estás. Quiero tocar. Hey guys, let's get off the Uber. We are here now at the station Booker Booth. So we're going to try to purchase the ticket now for our trip tomorrow morning to Uruguay. Alright, so we just got here. This is what this is looking like. I don't know where the ticket is. Arrivo arrivals, transmitted them back to check in class information, tourism, something, something, something. I guess we gotta go this way. I think. So let's go this way. Terminal Libre de Humo. So I don't know. We're just gonna go in here. I think this is where you buy the ticket. This is what it's looking like. So let's go and ask some questions. Let's go ask some questions here. I have a cashier. I don't know what it was. What? Disculpe, ¿dónde se compra el ticket? Acá, estoy en la línea correcta. Ah, aquí está. So we're here with the right spot. So we're going to purchase a ticket. So basically, guys, you could take an Uber or you could take like public transportation, bus, train from whatever part of the city you're staying. And then you get here and you purchase the ticket. There's another company called Colonial too. This one is Disposa and they tell me this is more, I mean, on time. I believe on time and it's more responsible. But I don't know. Let's find out. Hello. You open? Buenas. I'm going to buy a ticket for Montevideo. And for when? For when? Mañana de mañana. Solo iba a traer. ¿Cómo? Marco directo, 7.30 sí. de la mañana. ¿Y yo llega ya a qué hora? Llega a 10 y 5. Ok. ¿Y el próximo o después de ese? El próximo es el día de los días. No. La hora de barco más puro. No pregunta, ese me dejó en Montevideo, ¿cierto? Montevideo, el puerto de Montevideo. ¿Y ese es el puerto estaría muy lejos del centro? No, más o menos. Es cool. Sale 132,330 pesos. 130,000 solo la ida. Sí, sube. 132.000. ¿Qué sería? ¿Te lo marcan dólares también? Lo toman a 900 pesos. 
¿Una ida solo? Oh, wow. Ok, ¿y no hay otro que salga más tarde directo? Sale directo 4 de la tarde, 16 horas. Ciento dieciocho. Pues está casi igual que un vuelo. Hmm. Uh, para pensar, para pensar. Y sería lo mismo de regreso ciento algo también. Te puedo pasar si quieres mi pico y de vuelta. La vuelta para cuándo sería. Más o menos el sábado. ¿Cómo? El sábado. Otra pregunta, eh, disculpa, sí, solo para enterarme todo bien. Y si me voy por Colonia, ¿es el mismo precio o más es cómodo? Más económico, ya. ¿Cuánto será el viaje a Colonia? Ah, no. 80 dólares. Y de ahí tendría que agarrar un bus a. Tomás en Colonia, tomás el ómnibus a Montevideo, dos horas y media. Y llega, en una, y llega más rápido a Colonia también. Llega a 12.30 el barco a Montevideo, tres cruces, al terminal de Ocruz. No, perdón, yo digo el de... El barco a Colonia es una hora. Es una hora. Está más rápido, no... Son 80 dólares, me dijiste. Sí. Creo que es una opción. Déjame pensarlo y ahora Dale. Gracias. All right, guys, so, basically, got all the info. I guess because I'm cold, I'm buying it super late. The prices are to the roof because when I was looking in line, not online, when I was asked, like doing research, it was like um the but it was like a 49, it was more like like 30, 50 dollars, but now it's like a hundred and change just one way. I mean that's the same thing that it costs to do, get on a flight basically. And then that's one thing. And then if I want to do it like on the like another part of um, what you call it, another part of um, Uruguay, it will be 80. But then I will have to take a bus from there, which I don't know how much would it be. I don't think it's going to be much because it's only two hours. And that would be actually the best bet to just go because then the then the 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 travel time would be only one hour versus two hours to Montevideo. So now I just want to think about it really quick to make a decision on what's best. I mean, I do want to go to Montevideo, but it's extremely pricey. It's extremely pricey to go now. But I mean, that's once in a lifetime thing, I guess. Because I, I mean, to come back, it's gonna be more. Because I'm thinking, if I go, it's still gonna have to pay like over a hundred. Damn, I wish I would have planned this better. See, this is what is good to plan. If I could have done this uh, better, I should have. If I knew it was gonna be suspense, I would have just booked a flight, like, you know? Hmm. All right, guys, so let me think about this real quick and I'll get back to you guys from my vacation. All right, guys, so I bought the ticket. Basically, we're gonna I bought the ticket, we're gonna do the 8.30 in the morning to Colonia, Uruguay, and then from there, I'm gonna take a bus. That was the most economical one, because I didn't plan properly. That's what happens when you don't plan properly. And then coming back, I don't know, I didn't buy the way back ticket. So I made decisions based on, based on how I feel, because if I wanna stay longer, then I stay longer or whatnot. Make sense? All right, so that's done. Now, I know it's raining, but I cannot. I mean, I'm not here forever, so I just gotta make the best out of my time. So I'm chilling in the rain again, and we are in Puerto Madero now. Puerto Madero, and as you can see, Boca Bus is right across from Puerto Madero. It's part of Puerto Madero, you could say. And we're just gonna go around and see what Puerto Madero has to offer. 
I know that there's the pink building around here. There's like a lot of shops and restaurants, which is super cool. Supposedly also at night, it gets really nice. But we don't know, I don't know if we're gonna be able to come at night, but we are here during the day now. So let's see what's up. And the other side I see already is super cool. There's supposed to be a bridge. Oh, there goes the bridge all the way over there, the white thing. I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but you'll see it when we get there. But this seems like it could be a really nice afternoon, like Sunday afternoon or things like that. And I think these people, like the restaurants put tables all along this side here. I mean, guys, I really wanted to show you this at this best, but unfortunately the rain is not helping and I cannot just stay at home forever waiting for the rain to stop. It doesn't look like it's gonna stop either, anyways. Cause I mean, the sky looks really bad. I hope Uruguay is not looking like this, man. I, I mean, but it might cause it's so close. But let's see what happens, man. This is really cool though. This is really cool. And this is, there's supposed to be like a museum here. I'm not gonna do the museum thing cause I know you guys don't, based on, based on the, views that i have on my museum content you guys don't like that you guys just want to see more of the exploration and the nightlife and uh i mean interacting with people so that's what i'm gonna do all right guys so it's the morning time we're about to go to uruguay like you guys saw yesterday we went through the whole process of buying the ticket, how much it costs, and all of that good stuff. Now this morning we went to the same little entrance. We checked in, handled the passport and the ticket. Then they gave you the actual ticket, the original ticket that you're gonna use to get on a boat. And after that, you go up the steps or up the stairs and you go through immigration. Cool thing about the immigration is that you do both. So basically it's two agents, one next to each other, one for Argentina to exit to kick you out and then the other one from Uruguay to welcome you in so that's super cool and now we're here in the waiting area I mean it's pretty big right here pretty pretty big um, I really don't know which one I get I know that's one entrance here and then it seems to be another entrance towards the end back there I honestly don't care which way we go. Um, at the end of the day, it's only like supposed to be one hour. And it's supposed to be one hour. And I don't care if I go in out, it's a boat. Like on a plane, it's a little annoying because you want to put your back on the top. But here, I don't care. I just, I'm, ex I'm just excited that I'm going to a new country, so whatever. I do have to look at my ticket though to see <laughs> what is this gonna look like. But it's pretty, I mean, but then you can see out. This right here looks like an entrance. Is there a is Puerta Gate 4? And I guess there's another gate over there. I don't really don't know. We're gonna find out though. Let's go see it over here. All right guys, so we're talking we get on a boat. Uh, you can exchange your money here. I guess there's multiple floors. We are gonna go up one flight because it seems like people going up. I don't know where I'm going up. I don't know why I'm going up, but I'm going up. This is duty free too. Hi. Uh, 
Look at the seats out here. Alright, so. Going up. One time. We're going to ready see the river. We're going to go across. Oh, this is cool. They do have duty free. That's really cool. So basically, you can buy your little cologne if you forgot your cologne. Seats get get packed quick. So look at here, look at here, look at here. Okay, so we're gonna sit here. So that we can really see. Okay. Okay, boy. Right. I don't need to buy anything. So no, no, no. This is it. All right, guys. So as soon as you get out of the terminal, you don't even get out of the terminal. It's right in the terminal you get on the bus. And there's like many people here that tell you like, where to go, but it's super easy. And there's only two companies: Bookaboos. I don't know if you're able to see that. And then the other one is Colonial. So you pick whichever way you go. You go, because you could go to Punta del Este, or you could go to Montevideo, or you could go to whatever direction, if you where it is, you get on your bus. And this is me, super comfortable. Yeah. Easy. And the car, the balls looks nice. Come on. It looks so clean. It's clean in here. It's clean. Alright guys, so after such a beautiful trip, we are about to get to Uruguay. This is us coming in, getting in town, arriving now. So, I mean, this is the easiest way to go from um, Argentina, from Buenos Aires to Uruguay. Actually, it's not the easiest. Probably taking a flight is easy. But think about it. You have to go through a whole bunch of things, pick up your luggage. That's too much when you go to an airport. I think this is very easy. It only took an hour and then I took a bus for two hours. So if you guys need to get any more information, please let's book a consultation and I could go in details with you in everything you need to do and everything that you need to keep um be proactive before you take the flight and uh, you know do all your plannings within time don't do like me because i waited too long to book everything just make sure that you actually do it within time reach out to me we could definitely book a consultation and we could i could get you ready for that you know show you how to you know check and move in the city where to buy the ticket everything i will put everything together so you have a better experience than the one I had. I mean, you're going to see everything else coming for Uruguay. The next video is going to be my first impression. So I know you're going to like that. And then we're going to do, you know, what we do best. We're going to party. So nightlife is coming up too. I hope you like this. I, will, I hope you got value out of this video. See you guys on the next one coming up in a couple of days. It's your boy, Brian Harper, INTL. Brr, brr, yeah. No pueden con Vamos nosotros. Acá, no, a esto. Nosotros somos los que están. Okay. Yes, guys, here at Uruguay Station. Las tres cruces. The three crosses. So we just got here. I'm going to find out about the ticket that I have to buy to go back. And I'm just going to get on an Uber and be out. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Que sea, tú sabes que yo lo cojo. Aprieto como el oso, tú sabes que yo no aflojo. Aquí está tu sorpresa cuando quieras abrir los ojos. Estoy chill.